Hello everyone, welcome to today's Novage webinar, the best toolkit for surveyors, Applitop TCP MDT. Uh, Applitop is a new brand in our catalog and we're very excited to have him on board and um, presenting in one of our Novaj webinar series. Today's webinar uh, will witness a case study of TCP MDT software in an existing project in the US. So it's super relevant. And uh, I just want to let you know that TCP MDT allows you to model a terrain using points measured by any total station or GNSSS receiver, importing files or connecting to web services. Today, we have a few uh, webinar presenters. We have Hugo Perea, who is um, the business development manager for Applitop. We have Antonio Pardo, who is the technical engineer in topography in um, working for Applitop. And then we have Rafael Texeira, who is a project manager director for Alava International. It's a multinational Spanish firm providing engineering services worldwide, and it will um, showcase um, the work is doing um, using Applitop in a awesome project in Texas. So stay tuned. And uh, I also want to show you where you can find Applitop TCP MDT on the Novetch catalog. Just search for Applitop. All the products will come up. And um, I want to remind you that Novage is the best way to buy design software because we offer more choices, more freedom, we have the best advice and faster service. So after that, uh, I will uh, pass uh, the stage and the word to our friends at Applitop. I will start with Hugo Perea. Hugo, I'm going to share your screen. Take it away. Thank you very much, Barbara. Thanks everyone for joining this webinar. I would like to start presenting a very short introductory video of Applitop. And I'll briefly introduce uh, what are the products that we are going to see today. Applitop developed software for more than 30 years in the civil engineering sector and topography sectors. And the main products we offer are TCP MDT, which is, which is the digital model terrain application. It has also the module TCP MDT Professional for a roads design or roads application and the TCP MDT for topography module for surveying. Today we're going to see specifically the TCP MDT standard and TCP MDT professional applications. But besides those products, Applitop also developed software for field applications such as TCP GPS for GNSS devices. And we are also present in the point cloud and photogrammetry sectors. And we recently developed and launched TCP point cloud editor. And as well, Applitop is present in the tunnels sector with products such as TCP tunnel scan, TCP scan seer, TCP tunnel cat. Regarding the background of Applitop, it's a very innovative firma, a very innovative company, part of the Building Smart Association with some recognitions, some prices like the innovative SME. And Applitop has developed uh, projects in the beam, um, augmented reality and the virtual reality sectors. And here are some of the real cases or case studies uh, of Applitop products all around the world. Uh, we recently offer our software in New Zealand to, for the construction of the motorway from Puhoi to Warkworth. Also, the light train in Ottawa in Canada has been developed using our software. Uh, projects in the solar panel uh, assembly in Sweden, 
or in Portugal, some tunnels as well in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil, or earthworks, uh, volume calculations in Croatia. There are many, many case studies that you can see on our website. Most of them developed by the biggest uh, customers or the biggest construction firms uh, worldwide, such as the clients you, you can see here, like ACS, Dragado, Secciona, of course, by Alaba International as well, that we will see later on today. Apetop partners with the main hardware devices manufacturers, such as Trimble, Topcom, or Leica. And as well, we partner with the main CAD system as our TCP MDT. Today it will be run in CW CAD, but it's also possible to run it on AutoCAD, GSTAR CAD, or Bricks CAD. Our sales network is present in more than 75 countries. And thanks to Novetch, it's now also present here in the United States. Thanks to Novetch for that. And just to finalize my presentations, uh, just to mention that 98% of our customers renew the support with us year after year, and that we have an online training academy that you can access to see all the videos of our software and how to solve specific issues to projects thanks to, the, thanks to those videos and with our projects. So that's all from my side. Uh, thanks, Barbara. And Thank I will... You. You. Thank you again. Thank you. And now I, we'll, we'll um, yeah. let Antonio speak and uh, show you um, Applitop in action. Okay, Barbara, thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Antonio Pardo. I am a survey engineer, and geodetic and cartography engineer here. He actually, I am from I'm part of the technical support team of Applitop. So I hope you give you a hand in the future, in the short future, in your maybe question in your future uh, engineering project. Okay, so today I'll try to show how to work with MDD to following a short uh, example, a simple example. To, to, to try to show how to work with MDD, okay? Uh, uh, mm, at the end, uh, 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 at, at, the, at the start, <clears throat> I like to, to say that MDD is a software that is composed basically in two uh, main modules, uh, a standard module and, topo and, and professional module. The first one, uh, allow us to convert uh, the list point that we can took or that we took with with our device GNSS or total station etc uh, to convert a final <coughs> uh, sorry to convert a final uh, cartography uh, from this with this cartography we can we can convert we can design the, the our project our final uh, engineering project okay uh, so this this module is the the professional the professional module okay so i'll start to with the the sample so the first one i like uh, i i think that uh, it's very important to to use the project manager where we can find all the information that we can use in the in the civil engineer project, okay, or to to take one one list of point, or maybe a surface, the digital terrain model, profile, or maybe uh, at the end the the segment of the road that we define did we design in the project, okay. Well, let's let us start. I'm going to import one one list of point, for example, okay. In this window, I can uh, configure it. I can set setting the the format that I'm going to use to import the the different kind of, of the point. For example, the manufacturer, the the main manufacturer like Leica, or maybe LAS uh, is very useful nowadays, etc. No? Now I'm going to use a generic format. Uh, it's very important to to say that we can classify the points 
by levels and uh, is a singular way of the TCP MDD. So the more important thing is that that uh, we can draw automatically uh, every entity uh, from the code. From the code, we can use a one code database to represent it to re to draw to drawing every every entity in 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 the draw. Okay, I'm going to select the list of points and here it is. Just now, we finished to draw the the final survey that we took in the field and it's it's yet uh, drawing. Okay, so if you if you notice, there are a lot of points that has uh, each code each point. So about with the code database, we can relate. A, a make a relationship between the representation and the codification. Okay, so for example, if I show the the, the list of points, list all the points, we can select different. Uh, we can we have different selection of the point. I'm going to select all. We have the coordinate of the point, the level, the classification of the point by levels, and the, finally, the code of each point. Uh, thanks to uh, we can represent it each uh, each uh, entity by blocks or by different kind of line etc okay for this we use the code database I'm going to show the code database It's like a dictionary that allow us uh, to translate the code that you use in the point to represent each point okay for example if you use the code tree Okay, we can set how set the this code. Okay, for example, it's a block, it's a it's a it's a one code. Well, then we are going to use one only one point only for to locate it, or we can use two point to locate it to 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 rotate or maybe to scale that that block. Okay, with two or three point. We can use a different block to represent it in the top in the in the in the top view, or maybe in one profile or cross section we can use this block or block like this, or maybe if we use a virtual reality, we can use that kind of object 3D, like I show here. Okay, obviously we can change the the name of the layer or the color, etc. Okay, okay, so we finish or we draw uh, quickly uh, one survey that you took in the field, okay? So that, that way uh, allow us to shaving a lot of time uh, in our of the time office, no? Because we reduce a lot of time to editing this draw automatically and, and it's not necessary editing too much. Okay, so to finish, we can we can uh, check our survey if we import, for example, one image, one or so image that I load download from the USA Geological Survey. If we can check that the survey and the drawing is okay, okay, okay. And there is the entity, the linear entity. Okay, like a curve stone, like a, a point entity, like a strip light, or maybe a box electricity or box a communication communication box or chest that they are representing automatically. Okay, after that, if you take a look in the project manager, we have the list of the point. If we use another list point, we import in this in this manager. Uh, we are going to create the digital terrain model from this survey. Okay, for that, we are going to triangulate that point with that uh, brick lines. So I'm going to, for example, a surface and create surface. And now I'm going to save with one name, this to replace, okay. And here I select the point that I'm going to use, we are going to use to triangulate um, the brick lines the layer, the brick line that we are going to use to shape the surface, no, to shape the, the, the digital model uh, to to give you a shape 
uh, according to the to the brick lines okay using that uh, the selected layer okay now we we are going to use a maximum length criteria to 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 give uh, to the software and criteria to triangulate for example 100 uh, feet and I'm going to use uh, include the 3D brick line vertices. Now, finish. I'm going to create uh, uh, to view uh, to draw in 3D completely. Okay, and here is there is our 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 digital terrain model DTM for this area. Okay, for this local area. Okay, we can make across a quick profile, for example. From here, from this side of the of the digital terrain model, as just here. Now, the profile displayer appears, and we can check the difference, the different profile to draw. Okay, it's very useful. For example, we can measure any point. Oh, sorry. For example the weight of the street okay the median this the sidewalk etc we can draw okay to draw here okay to make any measure that we need okay so after that the best way to 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 representing the digital terrain model, the surface, the topography, is maybe is to draw the contours. I'm going to contours. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use one foot about the interval. Okay, I'm going to draw in this layer. Okay, and ah, here is. I'm going to make a label automatically and here is I think a final a final cartography to representing our our work sample display display view the view manager I'm going to hide the surface to clear the the draw and here is our work final work in this area from one surveying works okay uh, now we can export all this information to uh, to Google Earth, for example, to make sure that everything is okay. For example, MDD maps export Google Earth, and now the first the first thing or the most the most important important things is to is to select the coordinate reference system. In this case, is uh, use the code of the ESPG uh, code to relate uh, to the reference system coordinate and now I'm going to select the layer that I'm going to export. I have a, a file that I'm going to sh to export and here is the layer that I'm going to export. Okay, okay, yes. I'm going to shape in this name, replace, and yes, I want to, to see now. Now we travel to San Diego to check our work in Google Earth because this way is very common to use to explain our client about our, our survey, okay, or to check in the in the image of the wallet etc okay now i'm going to use a, a, another kind of, of of information for example i'm going to import about this hill cruise is a one ddm ddm that i imported from the usa geological survey uh, i'm going to select like a current surface okay so select here set as current i'm going to represent it only the boundary okay and here is and now i'm going to draw its their contour in this case i'm going to use another layer 
platform to avoid uh, delete the, the layer before I'm going to change the interval because there are a uh, surface more 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 great than big, 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 bigger than before okay and now I'm going to represent it applic I'm going to use a uh, one color palette color like this for example okay yeah, okay and here it is we have the the digital model the contour of the this the new digital model and this I'm going to use a uh, one one polyline to define our horizontal alignment to to get or to achieve the top of the mountain for example no I'm going to use set w cat um polyline I select this option this is one easy way to to draft the the horizontal horizontal alignment easy and quickly for example I'm going to, for here and go down over here okay 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 and now we can use that polyline to convert to alignment in M in M in MDT. For example, alignment convert to polyline. I'm going to select the polyline. Is this okay? The alignment three. Okay, I'm going to use uh, insert. Uh, I'm going to use this option insert curve between two lines. Uh, maximum radius 200. I'm going to dimension alignment at the finish. Okay. Okay. I'm going to dimension. I'm going to change the scale. Okay. And here it is. It's one easy way to get or to to draw uh, an horizontal horizontal alignment. Okay. Uh, with this, we can work. For example, we can get the 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 profile. No, for example, we'll go to profiles, get profiles. Okay, we have several options. We can we we can uh, get uh, from several surface or from several elements at the same time. I'm going to use the first one. I'm going to select the the horizontal alignment. And I'm going to use the current surface hill truth i'm going to go i'm going to shape the information of the profile in this file alignment free point long okay this is the configuration for example only all all intersection and this option is a very good option in 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 order to to analyze at the same time uh, in in longitudinal direction and uh, cross uh, cross section direction too. Okay, it's very useful in people who people that work with aerial uh, line electricity or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. There are the two two horizontal alignment together. And now I'm going to represent draw profile in face. Okay, it select all the profiles at the same time. Okay, every. Okay, I'm going to to change the numerical data. Uh, here is uh, the the vertical scale is the double of the horizontal scale to exaggerate the vertical dimension. Okay, uh, here I'm going to draw the profile. And here is the profile of this mountain to get the top of the mountain. Okay, and in the same in the same time we can analyze the slope of the of the mountain in the in the parallel alignment together. Okay, in the way the mess, the same way we can get the the cross section create cross, cross section okay the several surface in this case we have we have uh, do it to avoid uh, lose a lot of time no for example here we can analyze it's it etc etc okay after here 
we finish the standard module, okay? It's everything we can create a cartography, we can create a horizontal alignment, we can create profile, cross-section, ADC, but from here, we are going to design, uh, for example, a rod, like, like now. So we use the profile that we um, just now, we, we just uh, do it to create a grid line for this road, for example. No, I, I have here the the vertical alignment of the of the of the road and how the components the the different curve, etc. Okay, and here the final uh, template of this road. For this, we have prepared one example here, the alignment. Uh, alignment 10, okay, I'm going to define or to go to, to edit this alignment to show how to do it. For example, in this segment, it's one element of particular element of M MDD where we include the uh, uh, horizontal alignment, gate line, pre cross section, profile, etc., and of course, the template where we design the dimension of our rows. For example, see, if you go to edit the template, we can select, or we can define the different platform, okay, the, the road bed, the road bed, or so the layer that you we are going to use in the in the road, okay. Uh, obviously, the ditch, the cut and fill slope that we are going to use to cut with the natural terrain, the, if we we are going to use one kind of destructor or maybe the wolf, come on, in this case, we use one wolf here. And um, if we are going, if we are working in rainforest amount to to shape the all or the all roads, we can work with this application. Okay. Okay. And here in this window, I like to mark this window because. Uh, we can uh, we have the control of this project in only one window because we can for example we can check the section and we can move station by station along the road and click on each point we can uh, see uh, which point is for example in this case is the contact of, with the terrain for example the foot of the slope or maybe to when we will stake out this point uh, in the in the site in the site or in the field, we can select it or we can analyze which point is and uh, which what is the elevation or maybe the code that we will go, going to use or maybe the offset uh, etc. We can analyze everything in in this way in the grade line or subgrade for any for any element of the of the rod. Okay, uh, the same the same thing. We can draw the template and the modified terrain with the natural terrain at the same time. This is this is the solution. Okay, or we can extract the volume report the, to to know the the fill volume, the cut volume, the topsoil, ADC, or the road beds volume at ADC. But I think. The most important thing or I like to use is to get the modified terrain only to click on, on this button. Okay. When we click on button, we we can have we have this this solution that I can show in this example for avoid to lose time. For example, I'm going to show the surface. Okay. And this is the merge between the natural terrain and the modified terrain, okay? Where we can show the how adjust together both terrains, okay? And now it's very easy, as you can see, but it's very easy to get the final road in, in the terrain. Now, <clears throat> now, now I want to, to show how to create, for example, one explanate here in this area. For that, we can use uh, MDD, surface, earthworks. In this case, we are going to use by terrain elevation, okay? In this case, I'm going to select one polyline, for example, hand polyline, I'm going to draw 
the boundary of the explanate. Okay. See, close. And here I'm going to use that boundary to create that explanate. So I will go to surface. <coughs> Sorry, surface earthworks by terrain, terrain elevation. The difference, well, there are uh, several tools to get uh, different uh, explanation, explanate. So the difference is if uh, as towards dips the slope, maybe towards inside or outside the polyline. In this case, we are going to dips toward inside of the polyline. By terrain elevation, I select the, the polyline, okay, and this window inform us uh, the maximum and minimum elevation and the medium, okay. We are going to use, for example, 408, the, the final elevation, or maybe better, maybe better we can choose the target volume to, 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 mm, mm, achieve one cut volume or one field volume or in this case I'm going to use equalized cut and field volume to balance the the earthworks okay we can control in this parameter we can control the sequence the calculus sequence in cyclism uh, calculating in the with the software okay now we uh, type the the name of the surface in this case we select this Okay, we can calculate at the end the surface, but it's not the volume is not necessary because when we click on OK, the software make a cycling calcul of each elevation to get or to achieve the uh, the balance of the volume, the cut volume or the fill volume. Okay, in this case, uh, the software advise us that the best uh, surface or elevation to get to achieve that um, explanate is the one 483 uh, and a half uh, feet. So we click on, we select this, this option, and we click on OK, and we create automatically the explanate. Okay, and here is the final explanate in this terrain modified okay so we can make a quick profile okay to to check to check the explanation oh it's very hey, this is the 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 road, the uh, uh, surface modified uh, with the road and the explanate that just one uh, great, okay. And now, uh, <clears throat> only to say that, uh, as you can see, it's very easy to work with the MDT. Uh, it's very important to say that MDT has a lot of tools not only to work with the great uh, uh, final cartography, edit contour, etc., or editing the road, <coughs> so, you know, we can create uh, a lot of, of report to setting out, to stake out of the line, or maybe report to quantity take out the volume, the report of the of the of the executive work ADC and very very common question that uh, our client asks us uh, is to exchange that information for 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 for, for example we can export uh, a lot of information uh, a bin from bin from from gis or export to gis uh, in shape file for example or maybe we can work with with a lang XML file to export or import uh, information with another software, for example, or maybe use the technology being the technology being to export a AFC uh, format. No, in this case, we can select the surface that we want 
to that we won't export surface or for example in this case the lemon that we we just uh, finish and we can show the final report in Bing, Bing viewer about the final result okay this is the the natural terrain okay our explanate the the terrain of the field uh, uh, the field volume or the cat volume this is the 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 platform of the road or maybe the the slope uh, the field slope or the cat slope okay um, to finish it's very important in MDT we can create a digital terrain a route by virtual terrain like this where we have our road and uh, we have our explanation that we just made okay FCT. okay if we can move along the the surface to show our client what is how how will be the final terrain in our project okay well i just finished i hope you like it um i give the control to Carl rafael teixeira is a successful case in in the work with tcp mdd thank you antonio that was awesome and now last but not least i will share rafael's screen for what we've all been waiting for today. Uh, sorry, I was, I, I was, I was on mute. Um, can you see my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Let me try again. Uh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you try again because I I, I again. click on okay I click on the hmm. oh for some reason um let me see well it's not I can just talk yes. and explain no it's I, not okay it's working now we're switching now you can you can see my screen now. Yes, we're. You, you can see. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so then I... the screen is still black for the moment, but um, mm -hmm. give it a few seconds. I think it's gonna work out. I don't know because I no? I'm in the office and I should have a a good network here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I'm. No, so I you, can you see can... the. I, you can see. I can see the screen. Okay, yes, great. I can see ah, the screen. Oh, okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So no problem. Uh, let's. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, okay. So, this, well, this is this is what happens when you go live. Okay. So, well, um, my name is Rafael Teixeira. Okay. Um, I work for Alaba International. Um, I'm gonna do just a brief presentation about our company, but just for you to know, we have been working with uh, with Applitod uh, tools uh, for a very very long time. Okay. Uh, well, indeed, myself, I can say that, that when I was at, at, at college, I, I used some of their tools for my, for my how can I say, my, my project. When, when you finish the college in Spain, you have to do a project, and I used some of their tools like three years ago. So, so yeah, we are really, really familiar with their tools, and, and they are really good in, in our opinion. So just for you to know and to have a better idea about our company, we are part of a big group uh, in Spanish international engineering firm okay we have more than 45 years of experience and more than 350 international projects um we're gonna i'm gonna try to be brief here and just uh, well we we are part of uh, different phases or stages in the in the project life cycle from the design to the operation and maintenance okay uh, I hear and um in the us uh, where we have been since 2014 uh, we have been participating in, in like over 30 projects up to now in these seven years with some of the major contracts in in the world and some of uh, the the main dots 
here in the US, like te Texas DOT or Florida DOT, California DOT. Okay, and um, as you can see here in, in these two slides, okay, uh, this is some of our future projects or our past projects in the US. We Our main presence is in Texas because we are based in Texas, in Dallas, but we have also offices in Florida, in Miami, and in California, in LA. And we have projects in North Carolina, Texas, of course, Florida, and um, currently California. Of course, a lot of projects in Texas, Colorado, Virginia, and, and Florida again. Okay, so um, basically, uh, as I mentioned before, we arrived here to into, into the US in 2014. And uh, when we came here and we started working here in the survey, survey field, uh, of course, we tried we tried to use some of the existing softwares or applications that were more common here in the U.S., but none of them. Uh, I mean, we, we didn't feel uh, comfortable with with some of them. Uh, we were we were missing some things, and then we thought that it could be useful for us to keep working with the same tools that we we were working before in in Spain and, and Latin America and other. And other projects that we have were worldwide and then we asked uh, at that time a uh, to what to somehow come with us or, or to to start using their tools here in these projects and uh, i think or, I, or at least i like to think that it was then when they started to adapt uh, their tools to the u.s market because as you know we we are using different uh, different measure system here and uh, well, we started implementing uh, the tools in our projects. And uh, from then, from 2014, uh, I think that we are we have used um, the software in most of these 30 projects that I mentioned before. Um, uh, nowadays, uh, we have uh, like seven projects, uh, ongoing projects in Texas, and uh, one of the most important that we have is this one here, the new extension segment 3C to the North Tarrant Express in Dallas Fort Worth. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with Texas, this is uh, with the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is a really, really significant project for the area. Uh, it's, it has been divided in three segments. Okay, this is segment 3C, as I mentioned, and this segment only, it's, uh, it has a, a control value of 910 million dollars is a 6.7 6 miles roadway with uh, a lot of structures okay because it's part of part of the of this segment is this interchange here that we can see and uh, of course uh, a lot of earthwork also why i'm uh, talking basically about uh, structure and earthwork because uh, for us uh, that is where we use the most uh, mdt professional Okay, which is the main software or the main tool from Applito that we are using nowadays. Uh, and from a user point of view or for, from a user, user perspective, uh, what I can say is that it is really, really easy okay, to use and really user friendly. As you have seen before when Antonio was, was explaining everything about the, the program, I that he did a really, really good explanation about all the 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 application that, that you can have with with the the software and um, as well I, I have put here uh, several bullet points uh, about the, the advantages that we think it has over other existing tools in the market and um, I think that Antonio basically covered all of them but we use uh, the software as I say the for uh, basically for horizontal and vertical alignments of course, to extract cross sections from those alignment and to uh, extract also to export uh, to use the, those uh, cross section to to calculate the area and volume reports to do the quotations to do all the all the measures that we need and uh, also the the Google Earth export uh, application is also really really useful in in all of our projects. But as as they mentioned. For the final client, sometimes it's really um, it's a really visual tool, okay, for them to to see all the survey data, all that uh, 
cloud of points that we started working with uh, in a real place no or to, to to make it real and and that is really really good uh, in their in their application okay it's, uh, it's a really good application when you are working with with all of this and uh, also I would like to highlight uh, the technical support okay for us and I guess that for for most of all of us that are working in in civil um, projects in civil works projects in everywhere uh, the technical support for this kind of software this kind of tool is really important and, and what, what i can say that we have really really good communication with applitot and uh, they always try they go further and beyond to to try to accommodate okay with your needs so and um, for us at least that is uh, really really significant highlight um, and that is why as i said at the beginning we decided to uh, we talked with them when we, when we first came here into the us and, and they were completely okay with trying to help us or um, to support us uh, in, in, uh, in this new adventure and, and here we are not seven years uh, after we are still here in the us with a lot of projects and they are working with us in most of these projects and uh, we are so happy that we are thinking about the next steps with them and that is why i put it here because we are right now uh, negotiating some projects with uh, tunnels in, in them because up to now we haven't known any tunnels here in the US and uh, the next step as this is a heads up for Applitot is that we are gonna implement or we are gonna start using your or this other tool with you so get ready uh, because we we are gonna work on that um that's all I think um, yeah, that's all, all on my end um, thank, thank you so you. much for, for inviting us Thank you so much, Rafael. I'll take my screen back. Um, we're very excited to have um, Applitop for the first time for sale in the US, and this is where you can get it. Go to Noveg.com. Noveg is uh, changing the way designers purchase three software. You can buy Applitop products, you can buy AutoCAD, you can buy ZWCAD, BricsCAD, you name it. And I also want to show you this slide um, where there's a link. And uh, if you go to this link, you can download a free demo. So do not hesitate, try it out today. Uh, thanks again to the Applitop team. This is the first time in the US, first time on our webinars, but not last. So we'll see them and hear from them again. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today and have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Barbara.